see you're getting a tattoo today. Yes, indeed. What are you, what are you getting? I mean, you're, uh, Corey Hames' funeral is today, isn't it? Yes, yeah, Corey Hames' And you didn't go to uh, Toronto? No, I, I couldn't go because there was too much press. I was trying to avoid you guys. Well, well, what are you getting? You're getting a tattoo. What is this? I'm getting you're telling me about it. I'm getting a tattoo right now. Um, I had this peace sign here, but it was kind of a mistake. It was a cover-up from my first marriage. Um, originally, it was my ex-wife's name, and then I covered it up with a peace sign. But I never really liked it because it looked like a big blob. So now I had them attach some strings to it in a basket, and the basket's got my son's name in it. And then I'm putting his eyes underneath it. So it's kind of like his eyes are lifting up the basket, which is going into the clouds. It's going to be all blue, and it'll look like clouds. And then the 222 represents Corey Haim. On the day of his funeral, I felt that I should mark him on my body forever. And he had a 222 on his body as well. So now we're matching. And Corey was Zen's godfather. So the 222 in the clouds represents him being the godfather, lifting my son in the air with a basket and a balloon. So it's a memoriam tattoo. That's awesome, dude. Thank you. Awesome. I'm really well, sorry. Corey's now with me forever. And so is Zen. That's Those great. Those are the two things that I have in my life to be with me forever. 